Hey guys, Patrick from Art Storefronts here, and we're about to get into a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do geofencing in Facebook, and, and specifically using Facebook's Power Editor. Um, now, before I jump into it, if if there's a lot of detailed steps in this, so if for some reason the YouTube player that you're looking at didn't default to high res on the video, you might want to change it to high resolution so you can see everything in good detail. Um, but let's start off. So I'm logged into the Facebook Power Editor, and if you've read the blog post, we're talking about um, <clears throat> Susan was at an event that was at a trade show party the night before the trade show in a hotel ballroom, right? She was singing in a band, which is kind of cool, but signing copies of her book, too. So we wanted to draw a fence around that individual party in, in an individual hotel and show ads specifically to those people. So here's how we went about and did it. And I'm just going to start right from the top. Uh, I went to create a campaign. I called it page post engagement. I'm not going to worry about the spelling. Um, I did buying type auction and I did objective page post engagement. Now we can get into the weeds about which one was the best you know, decision in this case. But because I wasn't driving them to a website, what I really wanted to do were these people to come and visit her and be aware of what she was doing there. I did page post engagement, right? So let's go ahead and create that. And you can see, there it is, boom, done. I've got this new um, <clears throat> campaign. So next, let's drill into ad sets. So when I click over there, I'm going to go create ad set. And here's where we get into the, the geotargeting. So I called this one Music Night, I think, when I set it up originally. Um, and I went ahead and did create. So I click on create. The budget, I think we set $50 a day when we did, did the original one. And then you scroll down here to audience and you click edit audience. So here's where the magic happens. I have the exact address of the hotel in this other auth monitor. So you just paste it in here. It says choose one. I do address add locations boom so you there you can see so what it's done by default is it's add added the address to the hotel which is cnn center atlanta georgia right and by default it gives you 10 miles so you have to go in here and change this to one mile or you know depending on how you want to how you want to do this how how granular you want to get right um in my in my instance I, I wanted to do one mile i really wanted to get as close as possible to that ballroom and obviously because this is a dense population area, there was gonna there was gonna be some there was gonna be some um, spillover into the other zones. So, it, it, it's one mile is as granular as you can get. We can we can get into these other parameters that you can layer on top of it to get more laser focused. But for now, and especially the the, the first time that this was um, we were testing, I did it just the one mile. Um, you know, for instance, detail targeting you can add include people who like one of the few things like. Her book was about flowers, right? So I could have added people that liked, you know, that liked just flowers, right? And that were in that area. So the audience before, might as well get into this while we're into this, right? The audience before, how do I get off oh, this? Excuse me, there it is. So the audience before inside this one mile radius of downtown Atlanta, this hotel was 33,000 people, right? If I experiment and I go in and I add people that lit that are inside this one mile that actually like flowers as well it takes the audience all the way down to 20 right so in in susan's instance we we just left it at the one mile left it at the 30 33,000 people and went ahead and clicked save right so that was it i turned off instagram here too by the way you see placement um i turned off instagram post engagement automatic delivery type standard um, scroll through this quickly so you can see what see what we did. I don't want to get too into the weeds with it. Um, and called the ad set music night, right? So there it was. There was our ad set. After we've created our ad set, I went all the way down to the granular level and created the ads, right? And I've got posts here on the blog already that show you how you can create the ads. Um, so y you can reference those if you need to. Let's just keep that keep this one to the geofencing. So in this instance. To reiterate, we created a campaign, and then we created the ad set that was the geofencing, right? And then that's what we were going to place the ads with. So once you get done with all of that, um, I'm not going to do it this time because it's just kind of on a dummy account. You'd click upload changes here, right? And then it would send it all up, and then Facebook would do its thing and give you its approval and everything else. So that's how easy it is to do in Facebook. It's something you can set up really, really quickly, um, and the combination of what kind of distance you wanted to do versus 
adding secondary parameters to wind it down even more. Um, I think it's just it's just really a powerful, powerful thing. So let's get back to the post.